Hi guys, good morning. So for today, we're going to propagate our tricantera through cuttings. Okay, so I have cuttings here, 25 of them. Okay, so what is tricantera? Tricantera is a small tree, shrub. Okay. Uh, we're in the leaves they are very rich in protein about 30% in fact there was an experiment that was conducted in Southeast Asia wherein they replaced 30% of the feeds using Trichantera and based on the result of the experiment there was no significant difference with regards to pure commercial feeds and then you know uh, as compared to added 30 percent of trichantera for the feeds okay so as you can see if we can save 30 percent of our feeds on a daily basis especially for pigs all right so that would be a very big profit for our farmers uh, personally i use uh, tricantera to feed my rabbits okay again it's a very good source of protein about 30 percent all right so tricantera you can feed to your chicken you just have to chop them you can feed to your goats you can feed to your pigs you can feed to your rabbit you can feed to your cow all right so if you have a lactating cow or pigs then they should be able to produce more milk okay now for our potting mix again i'm going to use uh, 50 percent vermicas and then 50 percent bokashi um, if you don't know how to make bokashi i'll put the link below all right so we're going to use uh, recycle you know cups these uh, plastic cups Right, I made some holes at the bottom just to drain excess water. All right, good. So, simply you just put like this, and then do like that, and then push it over, okay, just to make the soil a little firm. I still have some uh, trichantera with roots already so if you would want to plant also trichantera I can uh, share it with you Locally in the Philippines, we call this Madre de Agua, okay? Or Tricantera Gigenta, that's the scientific name, I think. The biggest problem for farmers really is feeds, okay? Do you know that... Uh, 75 to 80 percent of our costs okay goes to feeds especially for pigs oh if you don't have alternative source of feeds you know the cost will really kill you 
So as farmers, it's very important that you know we have to be innovative. Find ways on how to save costs on our feeds. I am based here in Nairobi. So those who are new to our channel, I am based here in Nairobi, uh, Kenya. So if you want some, send me a message below okay comment below or you can uh, send me a whatsapp message i'll put also our contact below in the description Again, for my potting mix, I'm using 50% uh, Bokashi and then 50% uh, Vermicas. Vermicas is, a, is the poop of our earthworms. And earthworms, you know, they eat my rabbit manure, sawdust, dry hay, kitchen waste. And in return, I'm growing Tricantera to feed the rabbit. Did you see the integration of the farm operation? So one activity of the farm complements the other. That should how a farmer should operate. Okay. So that's why I, I'm I'm always an advocate of integrated organic farming. The more we recycle, the more we become more sustainable okay and profitable how about bukashi so bukashi is a japanese term meaning fermented organic matter okay so for my ingredients for the bokashi i use sawdust all right and then rice bran and coffee grounds okay you know that coffee ground when you brew your coffee all right there is a residue that's the coffee ground okay so here in kenya if you can, you have access to java and other coffee shops you can ask for the coffee grounds okay 
So personally, I collected my coffee grounds from Strathmore University. Just before the pandemic. Okay. So you mix those three ingredients, those two, three substrates completely. And then ferment using emas. Okay. Again, what is emas? I'll put the link below. Okay. So EM, EMAS stands for EM, Effective Microorganisms, Activated Solution, that's EMAS. Ferment for 7 days or even 2 weeks, that's fine. Anaerobically, okay? Means to say no oxygen, no air. So, the Bokashi, aside from using this as a potting mix, I also use Bokashi to, you know, to recycle my kitchen waste. I'll put a link below of how to, you know, to manage your kitchen waste. well Alright, last hmm. I still have two extra Let me see I can put two here And this one I can uh, Maybe here that's fine. And then we need to water. Based on my experience, they will begin, begin to sprout to have new shoots after two weeks. So we are propagating Tricantera to share with our farmers. So let's make a follow-up video after two weeks. Hopefully they have grown some roots and uh, shoots already. Alright, that's it for today, by the way. So 25 cuttings of Tricantera. Or in the Philippines, we call it Madre de Agua. 30% protein for our animals. So... That's it for today. I hope you learned again something today about Tricantera, about Bukashi, about potting mix, vermicast, vermiculture, and imas. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tumsipu Yose Christu, milele na milele, amina. Mungu awa bariki. God bless. And stay safe. Bye.